In this video, we're going to learn that how to implement the payroll accounting in Delhi ERP 9 and we're going to cover the entire UA payroll procedures in, uh, in Delhi ERP 9 that how you can implement the payroll accounting in Delhi. So first step is that we need to activate the payroll feature in Delhi ERP 9 and we need to configure some payroll option in Delhi ERP 9 as per the UA law. So if you go in the software look we don't have the payroll option here right now not in the masters not in the transactions we don't have the payroll options here. So first step that we need to activate the the payroll feature because whenever you install a new software you don't have the payroll option or the payroll accounting is not activated by default so we need to activate the payroll feature in Delhi ERP 9 so to activate the payroll feature we need to go in F11 that is the feature and then we need to go for further payroll configuration through F12 that is a configuration option in Delhi ERP 9 so first we need to activate the payroll feature so that the payroll info or the payroll voucher the transactions will come so for that you need to go in F11 to activate the payroll feature and that is an accounting feature here we need to activate this maintain payroll by default this option is no you need to make this option yes enter and then we have this option maintain more than one payroll or cost category you have to make a, uh, make this option also yes to implement the payroll accounting in detail in Delhi ERP 9 enter and then you can save it control a is the short key to save the settings or we have this option to accept so control a and if you go one step back you can press escape key and now look here the payroll info and the payroll vouchers are here now when you activate the payroll feature in the second step we need to configure some additional payroll features or the options uh, to implement the detail UA payroll feature in Dell ERP 9 so press F12 and here we have this the payroll configurations are there enter so these are the different additional features or the configurations that add notes for employees if you want to do that add additional notes so you can make this option yes you want to show the national insurance number if you want you can make yes if no uh, press n for no provide passport and visa detail you can make this option yes provide contract details yes uh, show resign retire employees you can make this option yes uh, show employees display name yes so through this payroll configuration you are activating additional features uh, whenever you are creating the employee most, uh, master data and then you can go to this printing option as well enter and here we have this the payroll printing configurations are there press enter and here we have three messages here the payroll printing configuration that is information in payment in uh, advice and here you can give your uh, that is a default message that whenever you're uh, releasing or issuing the payment advice so that time this tax or this uh, description will appear when you are printing the payment advice similarly that is a base uh, base slip notes uh, uh, whenever you're printing that pay slip uh, this note will come at the bottom this is a computer generated pay slip similarly if you want to give uh, a message uh, a pay slip message is here have a nice like have a nice day or work hard or any message you want to enter on the pay slip so you can mention here so these are the payroll 
uh, that uh, the first step uh, as an accountant what you need to do if you're configuring or implementing the payroll accounting in Delhi RP9 we need to activate the payroll feature that you need to go in F11 and you need to activate the payroll feature there and then you want to uh, configure additional features or the options related with that uh, the payroll you need to go in this F12 the configure and here we have this the payroll configuration and the printing configuration for the payroll so uh, in the next coming videos we're gonna cover the entire payroll feature uh, of Tally RP9 and how you can customize or implement as per the UAE law so hopefully you understand this first lecture the first lesson that how to configure or how to enable different uh, that uh, enable the payroll feature in Delhi ERP9.